and Kobo people have been doing this work since time immemorial. It's been an occupation passed on from generation to generation. The men and women are all doing beads. We do very beautiful beads. And actually every designer has their unique beads, has their unique designs. And there are also a, a um, variety of beads when you come to uh, Kobo land. We have painted beads, we have round beads, we have waist beads. So some of the beads require higher temperatures, some lower temperatures, a whole variety of beads. And I think our, our beads are the most beautiful. If you look at our bees, they, they are very wonderful. The artwork is unique. It's very beautiful. So we have like bottles here. We have bottles. These are all bottles people don't want. Or sometimes we even have uh, what we call the louver blades. These are all some of the materials that we use in pounding. So it's a lot of tedious work before we are able to come out with the beautiful beads we, we you see. It's a lot of hard work. Uh, we fasten it to the bucket to hold it firmly when we are pounding it. If we don't do that, the bucket will come off. <laughs> so we need to fasten it at both sides and make sure that uh, this thing is really holding it firmly. So we have to stretch it for it to hold. Come like this. And then another one, we have to really pull it to ensure so what we see here is glass powder okay. this is glass powder that is being seed what we have here is fine powder this is glass that has been pounded so you have louver blades of cut. Now what you see in her hand is a color. This is also powder. This is color. And she's going to mix it. She's going to add it to a fine powder here. And we do this to get the color we want. So for instance, if I want a blue bee, I'm going to add blue color to it. This time we want a gold bee, so she's mixing it with gold color. I'll show you our main items for production. So this is a clay mold and it is the clay mold that will determine the size and the shape of a bead. We notice the clay mold has an inner hole. The clay mold has an inner hole. And this inner hole, we place our cassava branches. These are made from cassava plants. If you know of the cassava plants, these are made from the cassava plant. So, a mold and this one is a cassava stick we put this in the hole uh, to, to make uh, to create a hole so that after we have made the beads we can pass thread through the holes of the beads how we do the filling of the has to make sure that we are well stuck in it and all the excess powder goes off so 
she will brush it off with her foam so that any excess powder will come off so that we make sure that our beads come out to the right size all equal sizes and the shape of that size we want so she has to do this to make sure that it is well stuck so this is a locally made oven please if you can come over here we have a lower chamber where we place our firewood inside that's the lower chamber where we place the firewood and then this other side which is the entrance of the bead is where we put our beads usually we have metal bats inside and that is where we will place our beads over we need metal bats inside so when we are ready to do the beads we'll have the metal bars inside then we place the clay molds on it for the beads to be made so we preheat we preheat the oven and then we put our beads inside this oven and it will stay in the oven for some time and then we take it out when we take it out the cassava branches will burn out and that is what will create the hole inside our bead for us. They are rough. And if you wear the beads, <laughs> they are too sharp. So we need to smoothen them on the stone. I'm going to apply some water. And then, yeah, you keep turning it to ensure that every part of the bead there isn't any rough edges. So if you continue doing this over and over again. Yeah. Okay. So after she's done this, she will put it back and ensure, I mean, we leave it in the sun for it to dry. Then we do the threading. We, we, we thread the beads so we have a standard measurement for threading our beads and our work here is supporting women our target group are single mothers we they come here to do beads and then we give them a good weight so that they can also take care of their families and then take care of their children the whole idea is we don't want the poverty cycle to continue but i mean their children should be better off